Good morning, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Recipe Tuesday. The recipe that I have for you today is Coney Island Chili Hot Dogs. And uh, I have the recipe here. I have made it. I made it um, Saturday night. It turned out delicious. Not only did I put it on hot dogs, but I also used it in my ziti when I made my spaghetti yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the recipe. I think you guys will like it. And uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need one small onion diced, three tablespoons olive oil. All right. On, in the olive oil sense, I like to use Pompeian extra virgin olive oil robust. It's been in my family for quite some time, so there's no changing that. But olive oil, two cloves garlic minced. And what I like to do with the garlic when I clean it, I like to cut it up and make it smaller. Uh, one six-ounce canned tomato paste. What I want to do is I want to make one small variation. Instead of using tomato paste, I was wanting to try maybe a can of diced tomatoes, a small can if I could locate it. Uh, let's see, two cups of water. But I think if you go the diced tomato route, that could change the water ratio instead of two cups. It could be one. Not sure. Okay, one tablespoon chili powder, one tablespoon cumin, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, one teaspoon garlic powder. This is optional. I didn't use it for those that can and you like it. You can add it. One eighth teaspoon cayenne pepper or to taste. And you are going to need ground beef. Uh, you're going to need one pound lean ground chuck, 90, 10 or leaner. I used 92% that I got at Publix. So what you're going to do to put it together is you're going to saute your onions in oil just enough to cook them in over medium heat in a saucepan for five minutes or until golden brown. Then you're going to add garlic and continue cooking for two minutes. One thing I've always learned, you never want to add garlic to onion at the same time. Garlic will cook quicker than the onion will. So when the onion is about halfway, two-thirds of the way through, that's when I add my garlic. Then you're going to add tomato paste and stir and cook for two to three minutes or until the paste just starts to brown on the bottom of the pan. Then you're going to add water, then stir well to deglaze the pan. Add chili powder and remaining spices, then whisk until smooth. Then you're going to add the ground beef, then stir the meat into the liquid with a whisk or fork. Once the meat and sauce are uniformly combined, bring to a low boil. Then you're going to cover and simmer for 30 minutes over low heat, stirring occasionally. After 30 minutes, you're going to remove the lid, then continue simmering uncovered for 30 additional minutes or until chili has reached desired thickness. And then after that, you're just going to cover and keep warm until ready to serve. Uh, you know, what you can do with this is you can, you know, freeze it in an airtight container. It'll hold up to six months. Uh, you can double or triple the recipe. Just use a wider pot accordingly so the liquid evaporates like it needs to. Um, but I have noticed the amount of chili that this made. I did six hot dogs. And the remaining amount that I had fit very well in a 15-ounce um, Hillshire Farms uh, cold-cut meat container. And um, I would say, all in all, you could probably do a good 20 
or so hot dogs with the amount of chili that it makes. So even though it may sound like an expensive or a little bit costly, you know, to get the ingredients together, especially on a ground beef level, um, this is one of those recipes that will cost you a little bit more up front. But look at the longevity that you get. And if you don't want to use it with just a hot dog, you could put it in pasta like I did. Um, you know, you could probably make some type of a dip out of it. I guess you could. Um, you know, what I did once it was done, and I'll enclose a picture of um, one set of hot dogs that I did. Uh, what I did is I had my Nathan's hot dog and what I did with the hot dog buns is I have an air fryer. So I put it on 250 and I took, you know, however, how many hot dog buns I needed as a total of six. And I set three buns down in there and I set it for about two and a half to three minutes. And that crisp made the uh, buns a little crispier and it made it taste better. And then what I did after that is I took the hot dog, put it down in there, and then I added the chili. And then I um, sprinkled some Parmesan cheese across the top. I didn't have any sharp cheddar, so I had to make do with what I had. And then I just went over it with um, mustard because I do like mustard on my chili dog. It gives it that little slight extra zip, you know. but. I think if you really wanted to, there are some variations that you could probably do to this recipe, you know, and change it and say, make it all your own. Um, I'm sure you could substitute. Um, I don't know if you really wanted to, you could put, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but you could possibly put a little bit of chopped up bell pepper down in there. Um, you know, if you didn't want to use ground beef, I guess you could use ground turkey. That's a little bit less expensive per pound than, say, you know, the hamburger meat. And one of the things about ground turkey, and I learned about that when I went on a diet and I lost all that weight, is that ground turkey is easier on a person's digestive tract. But if you season it right and do it up correctly, there's very little to no difference between it and, say, hamburger meat. It's one of those things that if you've never tried it, I recommend purchasing it one time and see what you think. I do like it. I don't mind it. I've also done ground chicken. But I've only done that on a couple of occasions. But um, do give the ground turkey a try. I think you guys will like it. I know I like it. It is easier on the stomach. But there's nothing wrong with ground beef either. So, I mean, it's really personal preference. Anyways, um, I want to thank all of you for tuning in this morning. Um, if you have any comments or anything you would like to leave down below, please do. Um, if you've been to Coney Island and you've had the Coley, uh, the Coney Island chili dogs, um, let me know. And, um, you know, I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, I hope all of you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday and I will see you next time. Bye.